Hi, my name is Erica Hughes, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bar in bar chart in Tableau. This is what I mean by a bar in bar chart. It allows you to easily compare between two measures like sales and profit in this example, or like we have in this second example, you can take just one measure and see how it compares to a previous value or a desired target. Both of these charts are set up in much the same way, so I'll just be showing you how to make the first in today's video. You'll need to start by connecting to your data. In this case, I'm using the Superstore data set, which is the sample data provided by Tableau. Then, once you've opened up a new sheet, we can start building our chart. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your two measures, in this case, sales and profit, and drag them both onto the Collins shelf. You'll notice Tableau's automatically created one axis per measure. This next step is optional, but I'm going to bring a dimension, in this case region, onto my rows shelf as well. You'll notice Tableau's automatically created bars for us in this case, and I'm just going to make them a little bit larger. Um, but a helpful step to do next is to go over to the marks card on the left hand side and where it says automatic, Select that drop down and change these to bar. This will help in the next step to keep things formatted correctly. So now the most important step for creating a bar in bar is going up to the column shelf and right clicking on one of your measures and going down to the option where it says dual axis. This is what allows us to have those two bars on the same axis. We now have two bars layered on top of each other, but you'll notice we can't fully see the sales bars, which are hidden behind profit. In order to get that bar in bar look, we just need to go over to the marks card into the profit bar, which is in front and make that a little bit smaller. And there you have your basic bar in bar. To get the same chart that I had in the example, I'm going to right click on one of the axes and select synchronize axis. What happens here is the profit values are much lower than the sales values, so the bars look a bit strange. So I'm also going to change these to percentage values by right clicking and going to quick table calculation and then percent of total. And this will sort of allow us to compare both of the measures on more of a level playing field. And lastly, just to make things a bit easier on the eyes, I'm going to go over to the color legend and just change the sales color or the percent of total sales to a gray. And this is the exact same chart I had in the first example. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you now feel confident to make your own bar in bar charts in Tableau. If you'd like a closer look at how I built this chart, then please follow the link to my workbook in the description. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend my colleague Sylvie's video on how to make a histogram.